Welcome back. This video, we're going to learn products versus offer. How are you doing? Hope you are catching everything. Do not forget to send me an email, chat me up, you know, to ask your questions or at least say thank you. Give me your suggestions. I'm open. I'm open to learning too. I'm not just a teacher. I'm a teacher and I'm a learner. So product versus offer, what is the difference? Like we have been using, you know, our fashion niche in this whole videos and uh, we have been showing how we can sell and we've chosen an example which is the zipper bra. Now, in this case, a zipper bra is your product. Plain, right? Understood. This is what we want to sell. But what is an offer? I'll use a different example for an offer. Someone took you to buy a car and you saw this um, Mercedes-Benz car that sells for 5 million naira. And you saw this in Shop A. Shop A sells this car for 5 million naira. But Shop B sells exactly the same car for 7 million naira. Okay? Shop B is selling this same car for 7 million naira. But Shop B says that whenever you buy this car for 7 million naira, you're going to get 6 months free servicing and maintenance okay you see that as well you're gonna get free vehicle registration and as well if you buy this car for seven million you also get a free fire extinguisher Extin we should hope this is the right spelling and he said no you also got to get you know a triangle if you are driving you should know what a triangle is you know this reflective triangle and he says you're also gonna get finally 50 liters of petrol for you to go cruise and tell your family that you have just purchased a car now look at it shop a says this car is just five million naira and that is it shop b says i will give you this car for seven million naira but you're gonna get six months free servicing free car registration free fire extinguisher free triangle and free 50 liter petrol okay good which of them would you like to buy? Look at the six months free service, which means if your car has issues within the first six months, you can return it and you will get free servicing. Looks cool, right? Yep. So this is a good example of a product. And this is a good example of an offer. An offer is a combination of products or value added services to create a bigger product with mouth watering offer now let's take a look at what six months free servicing can cost you we already know that this car is usually five million naira six months free servicing might cost you something around two million naira depending what will car registration cost you depending on how if you want to get a customized plate number and you know, let's say everything here costs you 50,000 naira. Fire extinguisher, I don't know the price, but let's say it's maybe around 15,000 naira. A triangle, maybe 5,000, I'm just guessing. And then 350 liters of petrol. Whoa, that's a lot. So let's say this is 20,000 naira. So for you to buy this car, and buy these things individually 
you're gonna spend a little over seven million naira. So you're gonna spend about seven point five million naira. But this guy says, if you buy this car for seven million naira, you will get all of these things, which means you are gonna save about five hundred k if you buy from shop B. That is an offer for you. An offer is an attempt by a seller to present a product to a buyer with some other value add-ons that will make the buyer you know, feel that this product is irresistible. You are looking at trying to make the buyer feel that if he does not buy this product from shop B, he's going to die. You are trying to make this customer see that if he does not buy this product from you, he's missing a lot. I once saw the product, a skincare oil, and sometime we had a delivery that went to Quara State. So when the delivery got there, the woman rejected it. What happened was, we had some other bonuses and we ran out of stock for the bonuses and we changed the bonus. So the bonus was uh, a strapless bra. You know, some of these bra does, does handless. You know, it doesn't have a hand. Okay, so the woman said something. She said, I bought this oil because of this bra. I already have an oil that does the same work already. I bought your product because of the bonus. And then a judge refused to take the product. She said, if you are able to get this bonus back, I will buy. But if you do not get the bonus back, I'm not interested. Remember, we have changed the bonus, okay? But the woman ordered long ago, and then the order took a while before she was around. And then when we got to Quara, she said she's buying this product because of the bonus. So that is to tell you the power of bundling a product. So whenever you want to bundle your product, you have to look at a lot of things in your bundling. You are bundling this product to change it from a regular product, do some magic on the pricing, and then the buyer sees what you have to offer. So make sure that when you are buying, when you are bundling your product, you are adding maybe bonus one, bonus number two, bonus number three and this customer will be looking at looking at this whole picture and seeing it as if this is something i must not let it slip it from my fingers but now there is one rule one rule to bundling your products one rule to creating an offer is that all the bonuses must be complementary to the base products all the bonuses must be complementary to the base product. So if you are selling a pair of shirts or you know some kind of clothes and you want to you know give bundling, then it should have it should be some kind of a pant, okay, or some kind of perfume, or you know, some kind of you know footwear. Okay, it shouldn't be you are selling. You know a pair of trousers for example and you are telling the person you're gonna give him hand fan oh or you tell the person you're gonna give him broom these things are very very important and useful right but it does not relate to this so it has to be something that you know resonate that complements the base products hope you got what we are trying to learn in this place learn how to package a lot of things and sometimes instead of uh, selling one zipper bra you can decide to sell three zipper bras okay call it a bundle tell the person you are gonna sell black okay white and then a blue bra so it's, it's a three in one bra okay so the day the person is gonna wear a white clothes you know he doesn't want the bra to be showing he's gonna wear a white bra get it so and not every time you want to wear white bra so this is the basics of bundling products um thank you thank you i want to celebrate you 
it's not easy to follow a tutorial this long step by step up until this moment and i want to greatly celebrate you for following up to this moment i hope you're getting everything don't forget jumbo's koyife cares for you and i'm willing to answer any of your questions so i will see you in the next video